Hey, hey, we are back. I just got a few things to finish up on Cool Pre. I guess before Mustang Week. It's just some um, stuff that drives me crazy. Got a new Motorcraft gas cap with the strap. Mom's missing the strap. And that drives me crazy to go to the gas station and have to put the gas cap somewhere. Then also, as you guys know from the rear end swap, we did a 373 gear, so we need to change the speedo gear. And then when I was doing the interior, I broke one of the door lock switches and ran down to MPD, grabbed this stuff. As you can see, some of the stuff is, uh, well, this one and this one are real Ford Motorcraft stuff, so that's even better. But all this stuff, this, this stuff's pretty easy to put on. I don't know about the door switch. I've never changed the door lock switch. I've had them out, but I never have changed one. This is not too easy. You just got to jack the car up, pull the pull the uh, speedo cable, and it just has a clip and put on there. So let's get this stuff done. Just makes driving it more um, more. Can't think of the word. Makes it better. All right. And also, I'm stuck. Also, if you guys saw on my Instagram, got the short antenna, which is loose. Let me tighten that up. Looks so much better. As if you're not going to shave it, but I'm not shaving this one. I think that's about it. Before Mustang Week, we'll have to. Um, I think other than this, she's ready to rock and roll. Maybe I might change the oil before we go. But let's knock these things out. Hey guys, Brent from the future. I've already finished what we're going to do tonight, but I forgot to say something at the beginning of this video. Stick around to the end. I'm going to do a giveaway. All right, as you can see, I've got a strap on here. I took this one off that wrecked excursion I had and the cap doesn't spin in it very well. And this one's pretty beat up too. So I'm just gonna pop this out. And the strap's hooked to one of the bolts, which is a 3 8 It's just these finishing touches, guys, sometimes just makes it look so much better and it makes it easy, nicer to drive so it, it drove me crazy to pull up to a gas station and have to the gas cap wouldn't come off properly It's even a clicky one. So much better. Look at that. This versus this. That looks so much better in there. Makes it look so much cleaner too. Number one, done. Next, let's move to the door lock switch. The not have the door panel off, but I'm not sure.
Then we're going to pull the door panel. I was hoping to get away without doing it, but you know, sometimes you gotta do it. These four hour cars, you got these pops all the way around, which is like all the Fox bodies, but. Pop them loose. Don't just pull on the door panel, you can, these things are getting old. You don't wanna break the cardboard where the Christmas tree uh, pins go in. Just take your time. Once you got them all loose, just lift up. Pull the little rubber thing off if you still have them on your car. There's a metal underneath and it'll slide out. Well, it does have a set screw in there, but mine was the set screw was missing in mine. You can just get it out past the door handle. Gonna clip on each side here. Try not to break them. I 
Looks like you could have done this with the door panel in, actually. Should have got down there and looked at it a little closer. Here's the that one. So here's the old one out. New one back in. Cool, cool. So you don't have to pull the door panel off for this, but we did it anyway. Pop this back in the door panel here. There we go. This would be a good time to replace any Christmas trees if you need to. Pop this back on. Two down, one to go. All right, guys. This is a T5, but your automatic is the same. Here's your speedometer cable. If you've never done it, 3 8 bolt right here. Take that out. This whole thing will slide out. And then we'll swap the gear over. Correction, it was a 7 16 bolt. Get that bolt out, and it has a rubber seal on, or has an o ring on it, so you kind of gotta wiggle it out a little bit. I think I need to do a Mike Clay cleaning on the bottom of this thing. There we go. Looks like we're going to lose a little bit of fluid, maybe. <sighs> Hope you can see this. This has an E clip or a little clip right here. Pull this out. Brought a pair of pliers with me. This is to correct your speedometer after you change it, a rear end gear. Pull that out, slide that off. New one. You can look up online which one you need 
I needed the white one with a 373 gear. Turn it till it pops, slides on where it's supposed to be. And let's pop this clip back in. Easy peasy. Just slide it back in the hole. Job number three done. I went in to wash my hands and I come back out and saw this. I just jacked the back up. My Carter custom splitter is on the ground. But anyway, we got that finished. Had three quick little repairs to do tonight. Or not repairs, but well, I guess it is repairs. Just fix some stuff that drives me crazy, like the speedometer being off. That's you know, gas cap and the door lock switch. So much nice. this way. So when you open up the door for your lady, you can just go ahead and hit the unlock button. You don't have to use your key on the other side because they don't have keyless entry. So the less you have to use the keys on the door lock, you're better. All right, guys. I told you to wait around to the end of the video. I'm going to do a giveaway. So what we're doing? Actually, what I did, oh, they're dusty. I should have knocked, dusted these off. These are brand new UPR Pro Series lower control arms with the sway bar mount. I bought these for Maxine because I thought I had a bent control arm. So I have south sides on there when I bumped the wall a couple of years ago. I ended up just having a bent axle tube. And these have been sitting in my toolbox. So I decided I'm going to give them to one of you guys. So what you have to do, you just go buy a shirt from hickshousevideos.com. And I'm gonna go ahead and include everybody that already bought a shirt in the month of June. Through June and July, if you buy a shirt from hickshousevideos.com, we will put your name in. And on August 1st, we'll do a drawing to see who gets these brand new UPR Pro Series lower control arms with the sway bar mount. These things are like 200 bucks. I bought them at Mustang Week two years ago. Monica's back here, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. I think the first year I went as Hicks House Videos, I bought these. So it's two or three years ago. Anyway, make sure to go to hickshousevideos.com. It'll be right here on the screen. And pick you up a t-shirt and get entered to win a brand new set of control arms for your fox body again thanks for watching till next time i'm out of here, here.